I'm going to be giving writing advice, tips, tricks, motivating people on how to get started on writing and how to stay motivated while you're writing, as well as just giving the best tips and advice that I possibly can. So if you're interested, please click that subscribe button and let's go. In this video, I'm gonna give you three surefire methods of getting in the mood to write and staying in the mood to write. Because we all know that it is extremely hard to keep up the mood to write. Because we as writers know that it is extremely hit or miss, whether we're in the mood to write, whether we're not in the mood to write, whether we have time to write, and we want to pack all of our time of writing into the time that we have open, which some of us don't have that much time in the day. So whenever we do have time, we want to be in the mood to write. Right, right, eh, eh right? <laughs> So these are a few methods on how to get and stay in the mood to write. I put my glasses on so I look more scholarly and y'all trust me more. Now this list is gonna be a little different because I'm not gonna be blowing smoke up your butt. I'm actually giving you ways that I motivate myself to write and I get myself in the mood to write. I would never tell anybody to do something that I don't personally do myself. This list is going to trick your brain into believing you want to write even when you don't feel like it. So the number one way I get myself into the mood to write is I listen to audio playlists. I make my own playlists for all of my own projects, for sometimes even down to characters. I make, uh, I have so many playlists on my phone of all of my different writing projects, and whenever I'm just not in the mood to write, I'll go to the playlist of whatever project I want to get motivated to write uh, that I really want to work on, and I will listen to that playlist. Sometimes it takes a while, but once I listen to the playlist and I start thinking about all the scenarios that I want to write involving those songs, it just makes me want to write it. I'm always someone that attributes music to go hand in hand with writing. That's how I've always been. And if you aren't like that, I suggest to look into it. It, get a Spotify premium account. I think it's like a dollar for the first three months. It is the best money you've ever spent because you can search any kind of music that you want. You can make your own playlists. I personally use Apple Music, but Spotify is for everybody. You don't have to have an iPhone for it. And you just make your own playlists of your characters and of your story. And it's just such a really, really good way to just get in the mood to write is just listen to the music that is based on what you're writing. Now, if you haven't outlined anything yet and you have no idea what you want to write yet, this is also a very good tip. And I used to do this in college, actually. I used to put in my headphones when I was in the mood to write, but I didn't have a project at the time and I didn't know what I wanted to write. A good exercise that I used to do is I would always put my headphones in and I would shuffle my phone and be like whatever song comes on I am writing and it is going to be about around that song is gonna be based on that concept and like so something would come up like I don't know we're gonna say gravity by John Mayer okay and then your brain will start going and you'll think of a scenario to go with that song be like okay so these people are at prom and okay I'm, I'm a horror writer mostly <laughs> horror and uh, smut so um, that that's just my genre but I, I write a little of everything so I'll shuffle and gravity by John Mayer comes on and then I'll be like okay so that's a like a kind of slow dancing song and then my brain gets going I literally just made this up off the top of my head so I'm like okay what if I wrote a short story about prom and about how this young couple is dancing and everything is all chill and nice and then all of a sudden his nose starts bleeding and she just looks at him and is like your nose is bleeding baby and he realizes that it is time for a full moon because he's a werewolf I don't know I just I just made that up I don't know I don't know why his nose is bleeding but you know it's just like listen to music and your mind just starts going, you know, and you just get these ideas. I've come up with a bunch of my projects. Even the novel that I'm working on, I came up with the idea because I was listening to a song and I was like, huh, this story is really interesting. And you can get motivated from, from music, you can get motivated from other TV shows, from movies, from everything, you know? It's finding what you want to write about, but getting in the mood to write using music. That is my main way of doing it. If you're not a music person, um, I have a couple other ways that you can 
get yourself in the mood to write. So outlining. Outlining is one of my favorite things to do to get me in the mood to writing because it's not really writing. It's it's not. You just pick up a piece of paper and you're like, okay, so I'm gonna have a short story of five chapters. You just throw that off the, off the top of your head. And you're like, okay, so I'm going to write down what happens in each chapter. And you just, off the top of your head, just write it down. Don't be a perfectionist because this is just, and things are liable to change. You just have to get through and outline it. So outlining is a very, very good way of getting you in the mood to write without actually writing. You're coming up with the ideas, you're coming up with what you want to write, but you're not actually writing because that takes too much brain power and you just want to write down things. So if you get a piece of notebook paper, a lot of people don't like to outline, but I think it's a very, very important thing to outline. And I will be doing a video on how to properly outline something, but this is just ideas. You're writing and you're writing what you want to write without actually writing. And that just, that gets you in the mood to write because it gets you excited. You're like, okay, so I want this, 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 and this to happen. And then you start getting excited and you're like, okay, cool. So that is getting your brain in the mood to write and elongate what you've just outlined. So you've outlined the entire first chapter of what you want to happen. I've outlined the entire, the entirety of my novel from start to finish. I outlined the entire thing in less than two hours. Like I just, I knew what was going to happen in each chapter and I went as I went, you know, I started at chapter one. I just wrote down, I was like, this is going to change probably. And it did a lot, but I was like, okay, so this is what I want to happen. And it just got me in the mood to write, you know? And so outlining is a very, very good way of motivating yourself and getting you in the mood to write, especially if you don't have a subject yet. I had to interject this video because I had to, had to, had to put this in because half of the battle of getting in the mood to write is being paranoid that what you're going to write is going to be stupid or it's not, or you're going to have writer's block. Like that's, that's half of the fear of writing. And that's why a lot of people don't get in the mood to write and why it's very, very hard to get in the mood to write because you have a fear that the words aren't going to flow right, that you're going to have writer's block and all that, that gets remedied by outlining. So I just had to interject and say that because I forgot to say it in the original filming. And the last tip is to give your character a face. Give your character a personality. Now, whether you're writing for original characters or you're writing fan fiction about characters that have already been made, fan fiction is very, very easy and <laughs> to get motivated to write for because you could just turn on the television show or the movie or read the book that your character is based on and it's just like I'll turn on television show and I I write a lot in the Hannibal fandom so I'll turn on the Hannibal TV show and I'll watch it and I'll kind of see like the mannerisms of the characters that I'm planning on writing and that motivates me to write because I have their face in my mind I have their mannerisms in my mind and I'm like okay so this is giving me fuel in order to go and create my own thing now if you're writing your original characters and you don't have what they look like you don't have their personality down exactly a really really good way of getting in the mood to write is to make Pinterest boards about each character that you have and that gets you excited this is all about getting excited this is all about getting excited to write so that you are in the mood to write and making Pinterest boards for your characters about their aesthetic, about what their favorite songs are, what their favorite food is, and just like going through Pinterest and adding things, titling each one after your characters and just making bullet points and making a mood board for that character that gets you so excited to write their story. Um, in my novel, my favorite character is not the main character. My favorite character is a kind of background character, but she is my favorite character in the entire book. Why? Because I have learned about her through making Pinterest boards and I love her aesthetic and I just, I have become 
very, very obsessed with telling her story because I have done that. And it's really hard not to write at that point because you just, you just want to create and you just want to tell their story, you know? And so that's what I'm saying is like, give them a face, give them a personality. If you don't even have any original characters or thoughts in mind, it's a very, very good way of going on Pinterest and trying to like pick things that you like, like aesthetics that you like, names that you like, going to like a, a baby name registry thing registry is that the right word I don't think it is a baby book baby name book and going through and finding the character's name I'm gonna I'm gonna make so many other videos about this subject but okay so those are my three is to have audio playlists outline and to give your character a face and a personality and put yourself in that Pinterest board and that will motivate you to not only create new characters but to also kind of expand the characters that you've already created. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please click a like on this video and subscribe down below. Uh, click the bell icon right down there so you never miss a video, never miss an upload. I have so many of these videos planned, so many ideas for videos that I want to make. I really hope I helped you today. If I did, please let me know or ask me some questions. I will answer every single question thrown my way. I have so much experience with writing. That's the only thing that I'm like decent at in life. So I, I really am excited to share all of my knowledge that I have. Uh, so if you ever want to reach out to me on social media, become buddies, ask questions, talk about writing projects, hit me up. I am always available. So I'm going to end every single video asking a question. I have two for y'all today. I want you all to put in the comments, I want you to put what your Hogwarts house is, if you're a Harry Potter fan. If you're not, you don't have to answer that part, but what is your Hogwarts house? I am a Hufflepuff and I am a proud Hufflepuff. I am actually wearing a Hufflepuff shirt right now. So uh, yeah, what is your Hogwarts house? Second of all, what project are you working on right now if you are working on a project? Are you working on a novel? Are you mostly doing fan fiction? Like, I have experience with all of that. So, but I wanna, I wanna know what's your project that you're currently really, really excited about. If you don't have a current project, let me know what you enjoy. What's your favorite genre? So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys. Uh, I'm very excited for the future of this channel and y'all rock. Thank you so much for watching y'all. Toodles. So if you're wondering why I'm filming in my car, it's because I went to the library and someone was using the room that I was going to use. So now every single person that walks by me at the park is staring in my window because they're curious of why I have a gigantic camera in my car. Uh, mind your business, Susan.